only a road, it was a way of life, slow and often rough. If you lived way out in the country, 15 or 20 miles away from the railroad station, you had to get up before dawn to catch the 9.30 train. You harnessed up the reliable horse, and for the next two hours, the carriage went creaking down the old familiar road, while the countryside moved slowly past. to pull up roots and start a new kind of life. You saw the faces of old friends as you passed their house, waving goodbye and you felt sad at leaving them. But you saw, too, how old and tired they looked, worn out by hard work, locked on the land. A woman looked 50 before she was 35 with all she had to do. In a way, you were glad you were leaving. You passed the old schoolhouse where you'd gone as a kid, and you remembered the long miles you'd walked morning after morning to get there. That final run to get inside before the bell stopped clanging. Or perhaps you passed the doctor's buggy drawn up in front of someone's house. And you'd remember the terrible night your mother lay upstairs in the bedroom, sick, and the long hours of waiting for the doctor to come. The roads were bad that night. When he finally arrived, there was nothing he could do anymore. After that, you never saw the doctor's buggy without wondering if he'd gotten there in time. You passed the church, too. But you knew you were not leaving God behind. He would be with you in the uncertain days that lay ahead. Still, there were good times to remember as well as bad, and by the time you reached the station, you wondered if you were making a mistake. where it was noisy and dirty, full of pickpockets and swindlers and women who painted their faces. But there were things you wanted to do that couldn't get done on the farm. If you were interested in machinery, for instance, or wanted to tinker with engines that ran on gasoline, the country was no place for you. You had to go where other men were doing this kind of thing. Train was late, of course. You could have slept another half hour. You stood and looked down the empty tracks, waiting. Somewhere out there beyond the horizon lay the city where your destiny waited. <laughs> 